Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been less than, a, less than a week, but it has been a minute since I've been able to upload. Reason being is because the internet was down. Hard to upload anything when you got slow ass internet. Technically it was my fault, even though I am on my dad's um, family bundle and he pays the load. Still I'm technically eligible enough to 25 years old. I'm definitely eligible enough to be paying my own bills, etc. I don't even have that many bills. The fee was like $50 over, which I'll take, but I was meant to pay, but it took us a good few days to figure that out. I officially set myself up in a direct account that helps to um, you know, give them the money that they need, obviously the service, service provider that we're with. All sorted now, internet is back to normal, so I'm going to quickly get this video edited, filmed first obviously, edited and uploaded before the internet decides to shut down on us again. So we all know that, um, I haven't got my bedroom light on, that's alright, you guys can see just fine. We all know that a couple of people have been doing the, my pet chooses my makeup. I recently did, um, my cat chooses my makeup. So it was my pet does my makeup, a couple of people have before that been doing this particular person chooses my makeup. Nikki Tutorials recently did a, um, Google chooses my makeup, which I will definitely do that one as well, but a bit at a later date. In this video, I'm going to be doing something I'm pretty sure that no one else has done. If they have, then obviously credit goes to the um, <coughs> uh, the original creator or what have you. I'm going to be, as you've obviously read by the title, duh, I'm going to be doing my iPods camera that um, chooses my makeup for me. I would use my camera, but I'm obviously recording of that. There is no way I am using my phone because that's a zombie facing the apocalypse right now. It has literally gotten twice as worse um, since my is my phone possessed video. Anyway, so and my iPad is too big, I'll pretty much take a photo of the whole entire landscape. <laughs> iPod it is, plus it's just um photos, I'm not like recording any videos. So I have already cleansed my face, trimmed up the rose garden a little bit, being my eyebrows. I have already moisturized with coconut oil. Let's get start. Tip. Okay, first things first, obviously I do have um, three foundations to choose from, so let's dig them out. Okay, so I do have them probably like six inches apart from each other. To, my nose is so damn itchy. It's like I've got cat hair on it or something. So I'm going to switch, switch it over to square option. I'm going to point and aim my camera, um, obviously at one of the products. Uh, I'm going to close my eyes and they'll turn away or a bit of both. Take the picture, hopefully my thumb lands on the uh, button properly the first time. And then, so I have got Maybelline, NYX and Rimmel. I think, um, I'm pretty sure that Rimmel is a cruelty free brand, NYX definitely is. I'm not too sure about Maybelline. I don't know, so thumb on the button is ready to go. So I'm just going to point and aim my camera. Whatever it is aiming closest to, that's what I'll be using. Okay, that doesn't really help because now I've got two of them in the photo, so I'm obviously going to do that again. Maybelline it is. I'm going to lower this exposure so that when I do get to show you, um, it'll be easy for the camera to focus. Again, I can also just bring the photo up onto the screen by editing the. It saves me from having to uh, focus half a million times. So Maybelline it is. I should have pre in my beauty sponge. Be right back. Okay, that's better. Okay, now for EXO Beauty's face, flat face brush or beauty blender. Okay, I say that my beauty blender is a little bit more in shot, so go with the beauty blender. Okay, so I only have like the one concealer and one powder, so I'm just going to quickly skip over those two off camera, and then I'll be right back for the rest. Okay, so I only have like one eyebrow pomade and one gumbo brush, so I'll just quickly get those two out of the way. Let's get on with eye priming as well. I only have one eye primer, which is my which is my MAC Pan Pot Soft Ochre. But which brush do I use to prime? I tend to use out of these two brushes the most. Let's get back on track with this camera thing. I built the next one. Wait, I also have a scab with this face halo. It actually does clean the brushes quite well because this had a thick chunk of black in it. Black eyeshadow that is. Um, I can't remember, I think it was when I used um, it for my Octavia look. So I'm just going to put a little bit of coconut oil in it as well just to soften up the product. I am also going out earlier today just to the shops to get a few things. Not that I need a makeup to go to the shops of course. I am still... Like I would never really compliment myself. Not that I'm ever worried that I'll sound um, 
conceded a bit. Um, what to use to set my primer with because there's Chris and Dominique's uh, banana shade, vanilla cream and or the real warm that I just used. So obviously let's drag them out and let the camera to do the deciding because obviously the point of this video. I put in water so it's like out of the corner of it. But it was closest to and it was closest to the palette so I'm going to use vanilla cream. My brush is still relatively damp-ish, so it will help to soak up any excess powders. Right, this next up is which palette to use to do my eye makeup, of course. Alright, so I've just grabbed out my three main most used ones. I've got Dominic Cosmetics, um, Chanel Excited Remix, and of course Too Faced Naked Tutorials uh, Power of Makeup. So first of all, which palette? It's going to hold my iPod sky high, pretty much. That was a blurry as shit photo, so let's do that again. I might actually do this thing also where I'll take a picture sky high, but then zoom the picture in, and wherever it lands on the closest. I was thinking that before when I was setting my face or whatever I was doing. Sky high picture. Okay. Alright, Nikki tutorials it is. That actually worked out um, a lot better than I thought it would. I literally don't know the difference between these two freaking brushes. The brush from Amy H. And they're both do precisely the same thing, so now for deciding of which colour to go in with first. So this is kind of like a revamped version of um, Random Colours Makeup Challenge that JK is still repetitively, repetitively doing. I don't want to take that too far out because the camera won't zoom in close enough. Okay, well I'm also going to be focusing on what's directly in the centre. And Wham Bam, which is the purple shade, is what we're going to be starting off with. This is going to be interesting. Obviously, crease tone. I don't know how Jo Kisser feels now with all of her random colour makeup challenges. Um, she picks out obviously random colours and she's always scoring these really, really colourful tones. I mean, Jo Kisser is colourful and she's very bright. She's basically like a walking um, Urban Decay electric palette. <laughs> Every look she does so far, except for when she has full control over what she's putting on her face, when it comes to a challenge, especially her ongoing um, room colours challenges, um, it ends up coming out a rainbow, a smoky rainbow. I do also need to get back on track with my monster high looks. I have the wig for it, the next one. I just haven't went around to it. Now, I don't even remember what the chick's name was, who I was about to do next, but um, all I know is technically by end result, surprise, she was a ghost. She was able to, I mean, ghosts can come as transparent or solid. Um, so the fact that she could make herself solid in appearance, no one second guessed. I don't remember her name. Okay, so still keeping on with the same picture. I'm gonna zoom up on a different shadow, hopefully. Okay, I will always love you. Which is technically one of the two blush shades. Is this one. Something tells me I'm destined to match myself up to my jumper. I might, also just put, might also just put a little bit of that on my um, upper crease, transition the purple a bit, just very, very, very lightly. Next shade from the same palette is going to be, like I said, I'm focusing directly indented to other photos, so makeup and chill. So, chilla in Trace Slang, which is the used language in 100, means stay calm. I have been learning a lot of um, Trace Getter Slang as I've been watching the series. Season 5 doesn't really have much of this to just go slang and language anymore. Probably a to B. So there's Shulfup, Be Quiet or Shut Up. Obviously Header, Commander of Death, one uh, Header, Commander, one Header, Commander of Death. The most iconic line that Lexa has. I'm like Header and I now thought I'm gonna hey. I mean I'm most likely getting the um, translation wrong a little bit, but I'm definitely not far off. Considering for all the actors, the language is not easy to learn. I mean, when you watch a series over and over and over again, you pretty much become, you know, very familiar with what, with what each of the words are. Pretty much around me at this point. That's where I'm alive. I reckon I could go just a little bit darker than that. And now for something on the under eyes. Uh, Painkiller. I kind of decided it was 
wet bear more on the center or painkiller, but painkiller is. I'm gonna have to take it on a smaller end of the brush, taking a painkiller, painkiller, which is technically a transitional brown that you can use in the crease. It's on the under eyes, which you use enough of it, it will come up as enough brown, as you can obviously see. Okay, now for a brow bone highlight. Oh, that's not really in the center as well as I wanted it to be. Try that again. I managed to click out of the photo and onto the camera. I tried that a third time, so time to charm. Yeah! Champagne and truffle. Pretty much uses a charm brow bone holler anyway. Okay, and now for a inner corner highlight. There is no way that I can use makeup and chill as my inner corner highlight, but that's what I landed on. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I set myself up for this channel, so I have to do what the rules what, as the rules apply. Okay, you know, for the pigment wise and everything, not bad for a palette, it's technically not that um, opaque. I got stuck with the one of Mecca, and pretty much a lot of people got stuck with something that wasn't really, um, some people got stuck with the palette that wasn't really opaque, unlike with um, the American Soul ones. Okay. So that is it for the um, palettes for the eyes. So now I'm going to start with my eyeliners because I tend to use this black from the ABH Lip Pro palette and obviously a regular liner. Regular uh, liquid liner, pencil liner which I prefer and of course my pro palette. And let's set the camera to the designing. My pro palette. Okay yeah, so it does come with a brush but whether that or my eyeliner brush. Actually probably maybe it's got my pencil liner brush because that's a little bit sturdier. Okay, so I'm gonna be using um the brush it comes with. Okay, party stack or naturals. I do I do also have up the romantic in a single set because my other ones look like shit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking away with Bezo View. Anyway. Okay, the naturals. And Dead It in Center is technically the Innocence. I'm not going for a dramatic look today. Look here, that's subtle. Innocent is the second ones down. I will be back when they are on. Okay, while well, that's taking tacky, I did also forget mascara. So I do have between everybody's beloved Lash Sensational and just a random uh, super size of mascara from Rimmel, CoverGirl, sorry, I meant CoverGirl, it's only two products. We're going with CoverGirl, but again I will be back when these lashes are on. I doubt anything is even in here anymore. Even though I still successfully put myself in the eye. No matter how shallow it feels. So now for contouring, I do have choices between a few tutorials because it is chocolate sundae in here for contouring and or an X on tour palette. And contour. Okay, to contour, I tend to use either my original face expert face brush or um, my angle face brush. And we are going with angle face brush. Should also maybe um, pick and choose what shade because there is three brown shades. Even though one technically actually used for bronzing, but. It wants me to contour with the bronzing shade. It's a little bit of it at a time though. Technically you can contour with bronzer. Shannon always does. So I am also just wiping it on the back of my hand every time I dunk it in. Just shave off the double chin. Okay, and now to bronze. Cool. Shade that I bronze with anyway. That's what I tend to get in with my petal brush, but let's just see which brush it wants me to uh, bronze with. I 
For a second I thought I missed the button because it took a second. Okay, it wants me to contour with my uh, angle brush because it's closest to the CP mask that I still have here. I was wearing my CP mask on my head still before I switched the camera on. Once again, dunking in but then just wiping off. Like, there's just like no much point in this anyway. That's what the camera wants me to do. Okay, that was a bit of a rush though because it's precisely the same shade or precisely the same areas. Now well, I'm not in the mood for blush. I tend to forget anyway, so I am using one of my highlighters to just keep an eye out whether or not recording. Another, bl another blush, another highlighter is here. But I'm going to go in with that of probably, it's probably Aurora. Yes, it is out of Aurora. Out of Aurora, Dominic Cosmetics, and Nolchan XO. You obviously highlight. Now I know that um, the palettes have two different highlighter shades, same with like, both Yum palettes. I don't have much of a choice when it comes to Aurora because it's obviously one singular shade. So which palette? Okay, so I can stop really thin sense a bit. The closest is XO Beauty. We're going in with Aurora and to highlight. Here's my um let's go on colour to next for once. One aura. Exo Beauty, because they are literally the same brush, more or less. Okay, that was just a dud. That again. Okay, we're going in with Color Cosmetics. The photo is blurry as shit, sorry about that. And then I pick my lip uh, choice. Come on. Thank you. So we have two different kinds of XA Beauty lip liner and lipstick. There's also different lip. So I'll always put that down first. There won't be the exact shade, but I'll pick and choose which shade because there's too many to choose from. Colourpop. Gucci had did. Jeffree Star, Too Faced. This is going to be so interesting because there's so many options. Kylie, Hack, Maybelline, Coco, and Shishi. I'll probably just end up choosing from whatever it lands on here, of course. Which is the best idea to begin with. Sorry, my camera stopped recording. I think it just stopped recording though, so I just took a picture of my overall lipstick um, choices. A dead in center is going to be after both in center though. I'll do that again. Okay, color pops in center. Then we're going to go in with Clueless. What was Clueless compatible to the bottom of shades? I think it was like the other version of um, the Candy K or Coco K. The way. Just trying to make sure it looks overlined because every time I'm editing and I have my head tilted a certain way, it looks like I just left it down to my natural lip shape. Because I don't like my lip shapes, it's because I don't overly um, like my top lip shape. It makes my mouth look a little bit off. One day I do hope to get myself um, lip injections on the top lip mostly. Okay, I think that officially concludes my whole entire face. Like I don't have any fixed spray, so uh, hence why I haven't done that yet, but yeah, I think I'm officially done. So my camera chooses my makeup for the day. This is the final result. I definitely am in colour match with my jumper. Necklace is always hiding. Also just a close up. So thank you all for watching, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you all for my future videos. Bye bye!